it's secure. So if you can slow the rebound down and dial it even stiffer, because we're already maxed out, this will be awesome. What's going on guys and welcome back. Sorry I've been a little MIA. I took a little break um, with the winter kind of being over which it's kind of trying to return at this point, but really for the most part, it is over. Uh, I just took a break to just kind of relax and chill out. It was a crazy uh, winter running around. But anyway, uh, before we get to today's video, <clears throat> little housekeeping, uh, Saddleback Mountain in Rangeley, Maine is having their hill climb, hill cross-esque uh, drag racing type deal, uh, April 19th and 20th. I will be, be there. I'm in five different classes. Um, we are going for King of the Mountain this year. Uh, along with some other things. So we're bringing in a lot of iron. Me, Bruce will be there. Um, so if you guys are bored that weekend and want to come and hang out, uh, definitely come and do that. We will be up there. So very excited for that. They say that there's tons of snow on the mountain and uh, there is nothing to worry about. So, I mean, granted, it's a month away as of today, but nonetheless, <clears throat> back to today's video. Ryder's already trying to find her toy to, to make noise and, and be a part of it. But I have here our two assault rear suspensions. Obviously, by the uh, title and thumbnail of this video, you know what this is about. And that is the uh, high gear suspension IGX uh, rear motion linkage kit that they have here. We talked about this kit in the short track stuff. Uh, Bruce has it in his 650-9R that he now has. Um, and it worked extremely, extremely well. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not that techie. I'm not an engineer. I don't exactly know what it does. Um, but what I do know is when I put it in and I ride it, I could tell you what it feels like. So anyway, obviously, as you can see, just visually wise, um, you know, we have some differences here. So this is the, this is the stock one. Yes, it's on Ice Age rails, but this is the entire stock center section of an IGX skid in your assault. Uh, whether that be a 144 or 146. So you have these little kind of rinky-dink uh, shock rods, and you come over here, and it's like, whoa, well, these are clearly a little, little bit beefier. And then you have a an added support that goes through here that supports there. So again, I'm not the techie real understanding. I'm not an engineer or any type. So... <clears throat> In the short track stuff, it worked really, really well. I was super impressed with it. When I got on Bruce's uh, 650-9R, it was in a 128, but wow, it worked really good. So when High Gear came out with this, me and Bruce talked, and we were lucky enough to get, it's just a pre-production thing now. There's no directions. There's no nothing. Uh, I guess these are getting released to the public full-time in fall of 24, um, but we were lucky enough to get on them and try them. So this skid, if you watched previous video on us really getting this assault rear skid to work well, this is the skid that was in there. That, this is the Ice Age one. These shocks, this spring package that we came up with was really, really good. So pretty much to see how this was going to work, we Bruce had, obviously we had another set of shocks. So he valved them exactly to what we had in these shocks that worked really well. Same spring and all. And we put it in this and tried it here. So pretty much I did... <laughs> not enough filming the night because we were kind of scrapping. Uh, we were obviously in the nighttime. You're going to see here in a little bit. And uh, I didn't want to just kind of be annoying with the camera. And we didn't eat dinner yet. And it was getting late. So long story short, I didn't do a ton of filming there. So I did a little bit. And then I'll tell you guys kind of my thoughts after this little bit of riding clip. <laughs>
So if you can slow the rebound down and dial it even stiffer, because we're already maxed out, this will be fucking awesome. All right, so this is the start of something really, 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 really good uh, for these assaults. So obviously, you guys knew how happy I was with the the stock suspension and linkage and everything with Bruce's valving. And then when we came over to here, there was very, very good things and there were some things that I don't like. So pretty much this worked very good. Rebound was awesome. It was very predictable. It was very stable. When we put it over into this, I felt like it actually sped the rebound up and it made it a little unpredictable. But the stiffer and stiffer and stiffer that we went with this track shock, rear track shock, with the clickers, the better and better and better and better and better it got. So pretty much general consensus is if we were able, again, we didn't, we didn't have enough time to do that testing that day, but if we were able to pull the shock out, make the valving even stiffer than what we have it, which it didn't feel stiff, which is what I'm gonna get to in a little bit. If we can make that even stiffer and slow the rebound down, this is going to be the ultimate ticket for your guys' assaults. In the small stuff, even though this rear shock is valve stiff, it did not feel stiff. And I mean, we were ran pretty much all the way in as I, as you heard uh, in my little snippet there with my curse word, um, we were ran all the way but one click in, which should have been very stiff on that rear and it didn't feel stiff. So that's the biggest thing in the small stuff. It just kind of soaked it up. Didn't feel like anything was there. But in the big stuff, it felt very good. So again, and that's what the linkage does, is it it somehow changes some ratio of how this all works so you could valve it stiffer for the big hits, but it doesn't feel stiffer in the small stuff. And that's ex literally exactly what it did, and I was, I was really blown away. So this is really the ticket, but again, I would 100,000% recommend getting that rear shock done. I would definitely recommend getting the front track shock done, obviously, if you go back to that video. But if you're going to do this rear suspension, say you had a, a set of shocks done by Bruce and you thought it was great. And then you go over to here. I would at least definitely get your rear uh, track shock. Again, if you're in it at this point, you might as well do the front track shock and just get it freshened up. But anyway, this high gear linkage kit is really the future of these suspensions. I really think that. <laughs> And uh, I was excited to at least get a couple miles on it and see what it felt like. But, but yeah, we kept pulling over. I'd flip the sled on its side. Bruce kept clicking and clicks, and it just got better and better and better and better. So, big win. I, I really, I, I can't say enough. And I know that's not super in depth, and I don't know the the technical details of it, but I can tell you that's what I felt. And I think with some more valving in that rear track shock, this thing would be off the charts good so luckily for us um our buddy ryan from climb is actually still doing some riding and he is an assault guy um so i'm actually going to pull this out and i'm going to send it to him so we could get some more time on it and see what he thinks and and uh and um kind of refine what our thoughts are on it but for the most part guys high gear uh igx rear suspension linkage kit Big win, and I really like that it kind of beefs everything. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys. I know it's a quick video, and it doesn't really say much, but it's just, again, it's my opinion, and uh, I know you guys trust my opinion, so that is it, and uh, that's going to do it for this video. I don't know what's going to be next, guys. I really don't. Um, I know the King of the Mountain stuff's coming up. I would like to start filling in videos here with doing stuff. We have some boat projects and stuff I've been working on, so we'll be there. And I got to tell you guys what I'm ordering for next year, so... That is going to do it. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.